Hi, welcome to another process video. There's Freddie looking out of the window. <laughs> we are going to take some scraps of fabric and make a little slow stitch birdhouse. We made the paper ones, paper bird houses yesterday. And today I thought we'd do a little bit of gentle slow stitching. Nothing, nothing fancy, just spend this time together. So let me, let me pull you closer so you, you've got a closer view of what we're doing. <laughs> and little Freddy there, look at him. <laughs> Freddy's been looking out of the window, haven't you, Freddy? Is it raining out there? Oh, they will be puddles later, won't they? <laughs> Before we start our slow stitch, little bird house let me show you the paper ones just close up because you don't get a close view on a monday so it's literally just a little square oblong of painty paper and a little doodled roof and a little washi tape perch and then a little hole a little bird <laughs> and these are the postcards that i made last night having lots of fun i think i might doodle around these hearts as well oh the glue was probably wet when I went to bed. Here's, here's just another one. I had to chop off the roof to fit it on the postcard. Yes, just adding washi and hearts and it's just so you get an idea. Oh, there was, there was another one with my little painted bird, just watercolour. I splashed some white as well and added another bird on this one. I hope that helps, just a little close-up view. And here's the tea bag close-up view birdhouse. So I just folded it over at the top. It was already in a V, but just to accentuate it, to make it look a little bit more like a house. And then stitched it. But you can hand stitch. So, And the little tea tag made such a good top for for the tag, I thought. <laughs> so yes, that's that's the paper ones. So let's, yeah, we'll move on and do some a slow stitch one today. A little close up of the desk. <laughs> oh, some of the tags I've been making this week. This one was out of a, the, the coffee that goes around the coffee and Trudy's ATC set. <laughs> Is that okay? I think so. It's a little close up view. <laughs> it's a little toucan. Yes, here's my lockdown toucans. <laughs> I don't know that's on this is on my fireplace in 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 my bedroom. What is it with me and two cans? <laughs> and I've made mine I'm making mine jungly theme, but you can make yours whatever theme you want, depending on what little scraps of fabric you've got. This isn't exactly a scrap, is it really? But um beautiful fabric. And I thought it was lovely. <laughs> So, yes, slow stitching can mean so many different things to so many people. It's a mixture of all the different stitches. If you are an embroiderer, you and or you've done embroidery in the past, you will find yourself doing those stitches. But if you haven't, you can do the most simple, simple stitches for slow stitching. It's more about relaxing than thinking about the step, the stitches and the size of the stitches. I found some blue dye in the cupboard and just fabric dye and dyed a piece of cotton. <laughs> Lovely blue, lilac-y blue. This is wadding or batting, 
just to make a backing to make it look a bit quilty but use what you've got don't have to yes there's no that's the thing that's the thing with slow stitching there there's no pattern there's no right or wrong you can just stitch <laughs> and it's wonderful oh. and i i find that with slow stitching i i do the stitch i go i do maybe unnecessary stitches because i've gone all round this house underneath but and it doesn't show but it, it's more of yes it's just it is about the process and the journey with slow stitching I think I just had such a, a happy time let me show you the different places I've been stitching that, that I was making this one I was outside let me show you Ooh, oh, not very good throw. We've got walkers in the park. People playing frisbee golf and autumn leaves. <laughs> and what's my hobby in the park? <laughs> I'm going to sit and do a little bit of sewing. <laughs> oh, it's lovely just to sit. It's not raining yet, so... <laughs> oh, Freddie's quite interested in that. Where's your ball, Fred? Yeah? I don't think I've used any fancy stitches on here, just a running stitch, but do, you do you, you do you. <laughs> oh. And then this was in my happy mail from Maria. And I thought that made a lovely little, there, there's the little hole in the, the birdhouse, isn't it? Where they, where they go through and it's, it's the Indian mirror work. Isn't that gorgeous? Right, so I just stitched that on as well. Ah, and the toucans were from Maria as well. Where's the other one? Where is the other one? Our quote for the week. One of our quotes yesterday was this. Crafting, creating, the art of searching for items you had just two seconds ago. That's from Alicia. I mean, yeah, really? Um, it, yes, there is another toucan. <laughs> Isn't it lovely? It's a mixture of paper and fabric. But I thought, oh, wow, that's going to go beautifully on there. <laughs> oh. The other toucan will turn up. Do you think sometimes things turn up when you don't look for them? I know this is not, I'm not alone. <laughs> I know, well, Alicia's with me. <laughs> I found some lace as well. And I put that on and sewed in between all the little holes. You can't really see it, but it just all goes to, to make a layer. <laughs> let, let me put the camera up now so we can see one another you get the general idea we'll just have a little slow stitch time and a chat together i think oh here's the mushrooms i have put them on an atc i've pinned them on ready to be slow stitched that's on a piece of quilting extra quilting from my quilt <laughs> that's a little project to do in the week i could take this one on the train going by train to see 
my mum, my auntie and my uncle tomorrow. I thought maybe going by train would be slightly easier this week. I don't, it, yes, they're both quite long journeys. So anyway, at least when I'm on the train, I can do a little bit of stitching or crochet. I know so much can can change in just a week. I I had some messages and I know quite a lot of you are going through having quite a time. And let's light a candle because Slow stitching is quite mindful. I'm not going to drop paper on the flame or anything like that. It can be quite, quite mindful. And as we spend this time together, let's, yeah, let's, Let's think about everybody we know that's going through a hard time. We do appreciate your comments and messages. Very relaxing sat here. I can hear Freddie breathing. I'm not quite sure whether you can. Some last week said yes, they could. Oh, yeah, it's all curled up. Put my chair a little bit more comfortably. Yes, so I'll be going on the train tomorrow. It's I, I have to train into London and then out from London, Marleybone Station, into, into Buckinghamshire. I could take my crochet. Let's just pop that candle there. I'm very mindful of it. I'll show you my gorgeous yarn that my friend Leslie gave me. It's called Feel Double Knit King Cole. Look, it's the varia variable, variable wool. Is that what you call it? Variegated. Look how beautifully it's knitting up. It's like a, it's a mock ferrule and I'm using up at the link below Bag A Day Crochet's Pebble Stitch. But I think it looks like little V's. It looks like little Christmas trees, isn't it? And it's so soft. Do I need another scarf? Probably not. But I can't resist it. <laughs> Pop that there. I might take that because the crochet poncho that I'm just lengthening that I did last year. This time last year for Katie, my niece, who I'm going to see on... Sunday. It, yes, I think that's. Oh, I was going to say it's too bulky to take. Oh, it's too bulky to take on the train tomorrow to my mum's, but I will be taking it on the train when I go down to Southampton on Sunday. That's nice. That's it. Sunday will be our Chris, Katie and I, our Christmas get together. So we will have. I would imagine we're going to have some, some something nice and sweet and some hot chocolate and then we will be listening to all the Friends episodes of Thanksgiving and Christmas. <laughs> we have a lovely time and we will decorate her Christmas tree as well. Our little tradition. <laughs> I missed it last year. But uh, yeah, <laughs> that'll be lovely. 
really lovely. And Ben, Ben got off to Africa, okay, Kenya again. If you missed that last week, yes, he's gone to Kenya again. Ah, oh, I heard that he got there safely. That was Friday morning, or was that Saturday morning? Dropped him off at the airport last Thursday. Yes, basically, I'm just having a cup of tea before we. I take Ben to the airport, so ah, oh, it's perfect just to sit here. Yes, <laughs> I haven't heard anything since. I'm looking forward to hearing from him uh, and having some photos. And maybe that's when he comes back. Um, I'll remember this time when he came back last time. He said, "Oh, I fancy macaroni cheese." I said, "Oh." I've got something else I made, I made that yesterday. <laughs> ah, dear. <laughs> Why's my needle threader? Where's my needle threader when I need it? Where, where is it? Hmm. Here it is. I clip it to the top of my stitch, stitching on the go kit. <laughs> oh dear. Let's see, can I see to thread? My glasses need mending. I will take those into spec savers tomorrow at High Wycombe. It's just the little screw fell out and the, the arm's fallen off my glasses. <laughs> so I will if I will wear them, excuse me, even though that they're a bit wobbly. Just to thread the needle. So you oh every time I still forget how to to do this. You thread it through eh, the strug the struggle is real. How to use them every time. Every time. Everyone's a winner. Do you do that? And then I I won't edit this because seriously, it's I think it's probably Is that is it threaded? No. Maybe I'll have to. Maybe I'll have to edit it a bit. Oh my God. Just as I turn the camera off, I know what you do. Just in case you, you put the needle threader through the hole. You put the needle threader through the hole. You've seen me do this before and I forget. And then you thread the needle threader, then pull it through. Oh my goodness. Why? Why is that so hard for me to remember? Oh dear. <laughs> I wasn't brought up with one, maybe. That's my excuse. I don't know. Do I need an excuse? <laughs> Let's sew on a leaf. Oh dear. I love this. Just no rules. All wonky. <laughs> but you can do it. You can do it with beautiful stitches. You do your own thing. Do your own thing, chicken wing. <laughs> Let's just cut this little bit of lace here. And as you can see, I'm literally sitting and stitching. Yeah. Oh, quite a lot of people mentioned the Christmas cactus yesterday. Isn't it glorious? I don't remember ever flowering this much before. We had a very dry summer though, so...
Isn't it lovely? <laughs> Ruth in chat was saying, just as it was buffering, because there's two, there's part one and part two, just as it was buffering, Ruth was telling us how she still has her grandmother's one. That is amazing. Ruth must be very loving and tender with her plants. I think that's amazing. Hmm. As you can see here again, I don't need to put so many stitches on to put this lace on, but I just find myself stitching. Wonderful, wonderful to do. Oh, the other thing you can do, which I might do, I like to add a button when I'm doing these. I've forgotten about that. I like to add a button. Oh, and I've got these beautiful little heart-shaped doll's clothes buttons. Let me show you. Wonderful. Mm. Look at these little ones. This is a rose petal. Isn't it gorgeous? <laughs> Beautiful, it's kept its colour. Lovely. I love the little heart-shaped dolly one, dolly buttons as well. I think they'll look gorgeous sewn on there. Perfect. <laughs> to add some beads as well. Let me go and get my beads. beads and charms and here's all the different sequins and paper clips <laughs> and little beads absolutely lovely what a lovely little collection of bits and pieces charms ready to go on the slow stitching Big, big beads. I like the little seed beads as well, if I can find some of those. Gorgeous. Mmm, beautiful blue, dark blue colour. Oh, those would be good. Let's have some sequins on there as well. Wow. <laughs> dark blue sequins look perfect. I will sew those on as well. It's like more, more, more. <laughs> Not less is more. Oh, dear. It's early on a Tuesday morning. This is my first cup of tea. Flo's got hers. All gone. Let's go in the kitchen and make some... Make some more tea and get some marmalade toast. I made some marmalade the other day. Let me show you. Stirring the marmalade. as labels for the front and I can write the date that I made it on there. This is from my Daphne's diary. Thank you very much, <laughs> Jennifer. Here's some of the jars. One, one of the jars has already gone to it, its new owner <laughs> and I've been using my jar. Absolutely delicious marmalade. <laughs> let you go go on about your day although some of you have got me on in the background I do that a lot on videos have the videos on in the background and it's just lovely to have the the company as one creates I think or the housework <laughs> oh. oh 
Oh, what are you up to, Flo? Let's do a, a top-down camera for you. Oh, there's your Daphne's diary. Wow. Oh, you've been making postcards. Oh, while we were making postcards yesterday, so were you. I love them. Oh, they're wonderful, Flo. Absolutely wonderful. Oh, beautiful. <laughs> yes, I will say goodbye and chat to you. Actually, I'm going to cut that there. Like that. There we are. <laughs> so it's not a double thread. I'm getting in a tangle. I'm chatting and sewing at the same time. <laughs> ah, there we are. I sorted it out. That's fine. <laughs> if there are lumps and bumps, we can call it texture. There's little Freddy. Look at him. Oh, heard his name. Looking out of the window. <laughs> we will go out. Pop on our wellies. And he can trudge through the puddles. He loves doing that. Right, well, I'll catch up with you in, in the live chats and in my comments and messages. And I will see you on live and video next week. And I do hope that for those that are going through tougher times, that you manage to find a little oh chink of light in that and maybe sit and watch while someone creates or get to do a little bit of creating yourself because sometimes that really does help. Right, I'll put the phone down. <laughs> no, you put the phone down. <laughs> Take care, everyone. Bye. Always handy to have a marmalade sandwich ready because you never know when Paddington might visit. And he always likes a spare one to keep underneath his hat. <laughs> Here we come. Oh, cooling off. Oh. <laughs> it's so exciting, isn't it, Freddie? Oh.